Hi, I'm Prem Singh, Assistant Professor in the Department of ECE at IIIT Bangalore. Open Radio Access Network Technology promotes flexibility and cost efficiency in mobile networks by using open standards and interoperable components from different vendors. It breaks 5G radio access network into three functional units. First is centralized unit, which is responsible for handling higher layer functions like control, scheduling, and coordination across multiple cells. Next unit is distributed unit known as DU. It handles higher physical layer and real time lower layer functions. The third unit is radio unit which manages lower physical layer and radio transmission and reception in 5G network. As a part of the 5G advanced over and massive MIMO base station, we at IIIT Bangalore have designed a PGA based DU accelerator card which is going to host high physical layer processing of the ORAN based uh, massive MIMO base station. We are also designing higher physical layer protocol stack and this protocol stack will be hosted by the DU accelerator card by following 3GPP standards. The hardware for the open distributed unit which we call as ODU accelerator card is a crucial component of the 5G advanced ORAN massive MIMO base station project. Our team at IIIT Bangalore has developed this card to handle demanding signal processing tasks of 5G NR physical layer. Starting from scratch, we meticulously designed the schematic and generated a bill of materials to bring this project to life. Our accelerator card features an intricate 16 layer PCB design with a high speed optical front hall interface of 100 gigs and PCIe Gen 3 compatibility with speed up to 64 gigs. Our ODU card can support 5G transmission and reception up to four layers. The accelerator card has all the standard interfaces like USB, SD card, QSPI, JTAG, UART, Ethernet, etc. This card is designed to fit seamlessly into a centralized server which can host up to nine such accelerator cards functioning as a robust centralized unit or CU. Developing this PCB involved overcoming numerous technical challenges including rigorous signal integrity, pa power integrity, and thermal management requirements. Each of these factors plays a crucial role in ensuring the reliability and high performance of the card. As a part of software design, our goal is to implement various physical layer procedures by following 3GPP standards for custom open RAN DU accelerator card which hosts higher physical layer. In 5G communications, data transmission from the base station to the user is called downlink. The physical channels in the downlink are physical downlink control channel PDCCH to send control information, physical downlink shared channel PDSCH to send data, and the physical broadcast channel PBCH to send broadcast information. On the other hand, the data transmission from the user to the base station is called uplink, which includes physical uplink control channel PUCCH for control signaling, physical uplink shared channel PUSCH for user data, and physical random access channel PRACH for random access procedures. As we are developing the base station, we need to implement PDCCH, PDSCH, and PBCH transmitters along with PUCCH, PUSCH, and PRACH receivers on the same hardware, which is very challenging task. Now I'll be talking about the implementation of control channel for the physical layer of the 5GNR protocol stack. The physical downlink control channel carries downlink control information which gives scheduling information to the users when decoded. We develop 3GPP compliant algorithms for each of the signal processing block in the PDCC chain, optimize these algorithms to meet 5GNR frame boundaries with minimum power consumption and resource utilization. We also conduct three-tier 3GPP compliant testing for benchmarking of our designs. First, each algorithm is tested individually using the high-level synthesis tool. Second, standalone tests are performed after exporting the algorithms as IPs in the integrated development environment. Finally, these IPs are integrated for end-to-end -end testing of PDCC chain in IDE to assess latency, resource utilization, throughput, power consumption, and power efficiency. 
So the DCI processing for all the users scheduled in one OFTM symbol must be completed within this 33.3 microseconds time frame. Our implementation due to the optimized algorithms finishes the PDCCH processing in 1.5 microseconds with 0.12 watt of power consumption which implies that with subcarrier spacing of delta f equals 30 kilohertz the design can schedule up to 20 and 40 users for one and two OFDM symbol long PDCCH respectively. When it comes to data channel the MAC layer organizes the user data into transport blocks. The size of this transport block is tens of bits to lakhs of bits. The transport block processed by the various blocks in the PDC PDSC chain to generate modulated signals. The implementation of the data channel is very challenging because of the huge amount of data that has to be processed. The maximum latency incurred by our implementation is 1.6 millisecond and approximately consumes 5% of the total resources available on the hardware. To Conclude the in-house high physical layer protocol stack hosted on the indigenously designed FPGA based accelerator card excel at handling complex signal processing task of the physical layer of 5G advanced massive MIMO base station and it also offer reconfigurability which allow service provider to quickly adapt to evolving standards and new algorithm without hardware redesign. Thanks for watching. Please write to us if you are interested in this project.